We're extremely lucky to have one of the most stunning and diverse corners of Australia as the backdrop to what we get to just go and have a nice little walk around for 100 k's. When designing the course, we're extremely focused on changing the landscape as much as possible. Nobody wants to walk 100 k's looking at the same scenery. So we try to figure it out that as we change through the different sections, we try to change things and make them a little bit different to look at. It was also important to us to divert from many of the popular tourist tracks and go and explore some of the hidden treasures of the region. You'll hear us talking a lot about sections of the course. So this is a term that we use quite frequently. And this graphic is the best way that we can show you to illustrate exactly what it is we're talking about. So the course, the 100 kilometer course is broken down into lots of different sections. So 10 over the two days, or five for the first day, which also covers the 43 kilometre course, five on the second day, which is our 57 kilometre course. And then we invite our 30 kilometre walkers in for those last 30 sections. And of course, the party at the finish line. As you can see, they are all different um, varied lengths and all different elevations. Now, sections one and two, taking start down at Cape Shank at a beautiful lighthouse, as uh, sun rises over the beach, and you walk in the two bays walking track, um, following that through into Stephanie Rennick walk, and we finish at the um, stunning Blue Range Winery. Section three is where your strength training really comes in. There is a 150 metre elevation gain over a one kilometre, which is the toughest that you will do during the challenge. And um, you're really rewarded for this with the majestic views of Port Phillip Bay as you traverse the, uh, the side of Arthur's Seat. This section concludes uh, with, a, with a gondola ride up the Arthur Seat Eagle. So if you walk the hardest bit, you get the Eagle ride. That's right. Not bad. It's a nice way to spend. Real good reward. Sections four and five, you're walking around Sea Winds uh, Gardens at the top of Arthur's Seat. You've got those beautiful views of Port Phillip, uh, Port Phillip Bay. Sneaky little trip into Pig and Whistle Tavern. And then we finish in Main Ridge at the Cricket Club there. Section six, which is also the first section of day two, um, starts on down, going down the Red Hill Rail Trail. So the sun's rising on the horizon as you go towards it. Um, we step into Merrick's Beach um, area, and you may have all heard of Merrick's uh, General, uh, stores, General Store. Quite, absolutely yep, quite famous iconic. through there. And you walk in, there's one K section just along Balnearing Beach uh, before heading into Coolart Historic Homestead right before you have a stop with your support crew bringing you a fresh pair of socks, hey? Exactly. Now, sections seven and eight, seven and eight, you just walk around Cool Arts Homestead and around the wetlands there. Um, this is something that not many people know about on the peninsula and it's absolutely beautiful. Then taking in Western Port Bay Trail up into the coastal town of Crib Point and then stepping onto the Bitten Coastal Wetlands Boardwalk. Not even the locals of the peninsula know about this little treasure. But yeah, this one is amazing to see. You can see the uh, amazing colours coming through on those photos there. Um, and that's basically you're walking across that on those uh, on that boardwalk. Section 9 and 10, you're stepping back into the bush, bush areas of uh, both Ted Harris Reserve, down through Turong, um, and then into Devil Bend Natural Features Reserve, which is... Uh, a beautiful spot, another little hidden one, a little bit closer to Melbourne, but still on the peninsula and absolutely beautiful down there in Murdoch. And, and perfect place for a finish line party. Exactly. Nice little remote spot for that finish line party for everyone. So again, we're just going to keep flicking up this graphic because it's a really great thing to show us. There's the course, there's the different sections. But the question is, is what happens in between the sections? And that's where we build wellness stops. These are what you might have heard at other events as being rest stops or checkpoints. We like to call them wellness stops because we're looking at your whole body well-being um, with them. So this is where you're going to get toilets, although we do have additional toilets around the course. There is water. There is Aqualite, which is an electrolyte drink for you to refill your water bottles. We have some basic snacks like fruit and chips and lollies. This is where there's first aid professionals looking after you. We have stretching stations. We have our free hot spot supplies, which are... Um, filled up with some of our favourite products like Compede Blister patches. They are always really in, great. in great demand. Physio cream just to start rubbing into any little um, muscle or, or achy cramp that might be starting to rise its head. 
Um, some of the sites, especially towards the end of both days, will have your allied health, your massage, podiatry, um, coffee carts definitely always around in the morning. Um, and then some of the bigger sites will have food vendors. We usually have a community barbecue mm. somewhere along the track as well. This is the places where you get to meet your support crew and where you get to do those walker changeovers um, if you're part of a share the distance team. There's also chairs, picnic rugs. Often your support crew will bring in um, other, you know, you might have a really comfy camping chair that you always want to take around to all the stops with you. This is where that happens. We also have amazing volunteers who perform, who become part of the great Aussie hike cheer squads. They're going to be ringing cowbells. Fiona's one of our leading cowbell ringers at all of them. Just giving you that pump up and that energy to um, feel really great about how you're going and give you a little boost to get back out on course. And it's also where we check in and see how you're traveling. 